Welcome back to KTAB for you. You are in for a treat. Food stylist Janice Stahl is with us from Aldi. She joins us today. How are you doing, Janice? I'm doing good. How are you? Thanks for having me. And while, you know, the holidays are going to look a little different, I mean, we're, we're kind of used to hearing that, you know, be said, um, but it can still be fun and festive and you can still get everything you need at Aldi from amazing cheeses to beverages to all kinds of special treats, all without breaking the bank and all with stretching your budget. And I have two college kids, so stretching my budget is beyond key. And I don't know if you're an Aldi shopper or not, you know, speaking of, of safety, um, but the dedication that Aldi um, has taken to keep their consumers safe is amazing from cart cleaning stations to hand cleaning stations to, you know, the six foot distancing. It's all there to help you feel safe. Now, a lot of people are using cur curbside shopping due to the pandemic and everything. And there is a new location here in Abilene. Does Aldi offer that? They do. So your Abilene location actually has it. So here's the fun thing about the curbside pickup. So um, they really accelerated this program. This program was ready on the books um, before COVID hit, but they ramped it up and it's available at nearly 700 stores. Now that we're spending more time at home, People are looking to get creative, especially for the holidays. Is there anything that Aldi has to offer for new recipes and new meals? Absolutely. So something fun um, that we've been doing as a family, we have been doing charcuterie boards. And it's kind of fun because everybody can pick something that goes on the board. Um, so my daughter happens to love brie. So she picks out the brie and she loves the, you know, um, the aged cheddar here. My son happens to love the, um, the goat cheese here. So like we all pick out things and, and we go with it. But we kind of took this to a whole nother level. So we started Zooming, we have family across, you know, kind of across the, the nation here. And um, we started Zooming on Friday nights with them. And it became like this competition of who could have the better charcuterie board, who could have the better like wine cocktail. And it becomes this, this, it took on like a life of its own, but it's been really, really fun. And I actually feel like, like who knew Zoom would turn into what it did. But I almost feel like I've gotten to know some of my family members actually better because you focus on like talking to one another. What other activities do you have that families can do? So one of the things that has been all the rage are hot cocoa balls. Oh goodness me. So you've heard of these, like these are, I mean, beyond all the rage. So this weekend, my daughter and I, because she wants to give some out to her girlfriends, we made hot cocoa balls and we had a blast and they're so easy to make. And so I'm going to walk you through just kind of like easy peasy, like, you know, nothing crazy here, but you're going to get your hot cocoa mix. First, you're going to make your little balls here. So super easy. You just melt the chocolate, you turn them into these like little cups, you know, you're going to end up putting them together there. But the fun part is, is that you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in your hot cocoa mix. So you put in, you know, just, just enough to flavor it up because you've got the balls that are, you know, your chocolate too. And then you pick all your fun toppings. You can put in, so I don't make a hot mess out of this, right? Um, so you can put in like your marshmallows, you can put in peppermint, you can put in whatever you like. And then you go ahead and you dip this part in the warm chocolate, you seal it up and then you turn them into these decorated wonders. Like we had so much fun decorating them. And don't get scared about the decorating part because it's so super easy. When you melt your chocolate, put it in a little baggie, clip the end of the baggie off and just drizzle and then top it with the chocolates or the candy canes or you know whatever you like. So we really had fun making these. Now Aldi also has budget friendly wines like the Winking Owl wines are $3 each. Oh my gosh. So Aldi is known for so many award-winning wines. Um, and there's so many here that I love. I, I, I pulled out a couple of my faves here, but they also have world-class beers too. Um, but one of the things that we are known for are our Winking Owl wines. Um, so I have the Moscato here and the Sangria. They are $2.95. And we have a crazy following um, for these wines because they are delish and three dollars like what's not to like about that you can actually do some wine tasting via zoom oh my gosh that's awesome what other kinds of seasonal products does aldi have to offer oh my gosh so many so hopefully you've had a chance to kind of 
um, I over here. So we have all of our winter knocked um, cookies, which are so amazing. We have our Bentons here. We have, um, oh my gosh, our specially select truffles. So these are only out during the holidays. I will buy like literally six or seven boxes of these because these are so delicious. It's crazy. How can we find you online and get inspired to and share and create more things with Aldi? Go to aldi.us. Um, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. Um, and we love to see your photos and things that you guys do and things that you make up. Um, show us that stuff and hashtag it, um, hashtag Aldi Love um, so that we can see all that fun stuff. Thank you so much. And the holidays are around the corner. This is the perfect treat for us. I'm excited. Well, thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays. Um, stay safe. And, um, you know, just we, we look forward to uh, 2021 coming in better than 2020 did. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yes. <laughs>